now I'm actually, I'm curious, like, I wouldn't be surprised if Roddy plays into the fact that you're going to expect Phoenixes and Foxer would maybe go for, like, a fast. I could see both of them playing one base. I could actually see it as, like, a double, double yeah, blind yeah, yeah, meta like, counter. Foxer would play one base because he's playing on Ryder set, and then so Roddy plays one base. Well, no, Roddy, Roddy's like, okay, Foxer's going to play 3cc because he thinks I'm going to play Phoenix. Okay. And then he's like, haha, I proxy, you know, a Dark Shrine or something, or I proxy a Robo, mm. or like, like something crazy like that. I, it honestly would not surprise yeah, me. Yeah, the, the double, the, the double mind. The fuck. double mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Little cheeky. Little cheeky mind games. All right. So we're going to, we're going to start things off. We're going. We're going. It's Observer Plus Plus. All right. We're hitting it. We're hitting the ground running. Yeah. I want to see a caster. I actually really miss okay. the caster being able to draw on like yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I mean we could we could probably set that up. That would be pretty wild. Yeah. All right, let's get things started. I don't even know if I can do the the intro, but spawning down on the bottom left for Basilisk, it is oh, have some crazy console. So actually, it might be we might have to start. restart. How, it's a regular keyboard, Dave. How are we having this trouble? Do I need to get you a different one? Sounds like nerves to me. The mind games have already oh, started. Oh, man. Okay. Spicy. That's well, hot. all right. Here we go. Spawning down on the bottom left. It is Basilisk Rotterdam. Who does Foxer play for? Game Game that was... <laughs> game. <laughs> I just paused the game for a moment. I am not. I don't know what button I pressed, but I'm not going to press that one again. Okay. Uh, can you zoom out? You can use the mouse. There I'm. Go. I'm going to use the mouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. Who does Foxer play for? Uh, I don't think. Is he Team Gosu or is he Apprentice or is he Teamless? It's Foxer in the bottom or top right. He's green. He's green. We know the players. Oh, he's Berserker. Oh. Berserker. Oh, dude. Well, he's playing on his Flobio account. Yeah, because well, he's taking this very seriously. Yeah. Well, I mean, Rotterdam's playing on his official Basilisk Bas account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to get the he's, he's got to get the ad dollars out there. Bask yep. in the GGs. Yeah. Uh, I do like the engineering. Eng block. Bay block, and he tries to go for the double, but he misses. Whiffs. Can't get it. Swing and a miss. And. He will be sent down to the minor leagues for that. Will be. <laughs> oh, he's already in the minor leagues. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks again to the players for agreeing to play. <laughs> We've made it two minutes in before roasting them. It's all right. Fo if Foxy watches this VOD, he can just say, okay. And then tomorrow he just queues up on his 480 account. <laughs> Just, Robs me of 300 yeah. ladder points. <laughs> Takes Thanks all to the your cast, points. old man. <laughs> Just retires me. <laughs> you you want to apologize, friend? Yeah. You got something you want to say? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Who's minor now? You and your 4-6. Oh, well, That's I, I said so one doing, base build. This is going to be... Um, Proxy Hel Hellion. Yeah, Hellion, yeah, yeah. right? You're oh, gonna, yeah, for sure. Oh, baby. This is, this is a great way to kick off a series. Yeah. Uh... This I is mean, ironically a Clem special too, and it's also good because the end bay block. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, much easier like, it's, to it's navigate. It's so around. far away. Like, mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I wouldn't hate him going for six Hellions and four yeah, Hellions I was, in, I was and then say, if, two more Hellions to the to this base. He could do like two mines as well. Yeah, yeah, two mines would be also good. Uh, the but only yeah, thing six is, six Hellion take, would be hot. They'll take a while to get across the map. Yeah. For some oh. reason, I thought the factory was proxy. Okay, I was like, is he, is he supply block? No. no, no he's good. not. Uh, Phoenix number one is going to be out. we got a shield battery coming up on the main base. That's going to be good. Shield battery at the third as well. So that will, like, kind of undercut. Oh, look at this. Look at this single marine. What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way it finds anything. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he got a couple hits on uh, Stalker? That's, <laughs> yeah, he yeah, that's... sent him a warning shot. He's yeah. he just letting him know. So how many Phoenixes when these four Hellions are in here? Two? Uh, two. Two? Right. Uh, he's not Chrono, but does he have Chrono? <clears throat> he does have Chrono. He's so far away from his main base with those Stalkers. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is this is looking... He's in Albuquerque right now. Oh, and the first Phoenix is across He's going to have to know. 
Right? Yeah. He has to know. But, like, this oh. is so bad. It's a full unload. And the Phoenixes aren't here either. No. That, exactly. Exactly. Uh, Instant I pull, which is good. But this is going to be a lot of damage. Imagine this without a shield battery. This would be terrible. And it's already going to be It's already terrible. It's, it's catastrophic. The oh. bottom line is being hit. Now, the Phoenix is honestly 10 probes so far for how much this was, like, unscouted isn't the worst in the world. Oh, unfortunately, that shield battery is super far away. So it doesn't cover these four probes on the outside. Can he get another probe? No, no, it's going to get saved. 14 probes. That's that's it's a lot of damage. Devastating. But we got to caveat it. He did kill the medevac. Okay. It's, it is Rad who said. All right. It's a, it's a big map. And, of course, uh, Foxer's command center was super delayed. So, but obviously he's still ahead. But this, yeah. But this position, so like, Roddy has the worst of the two thirds for for turtling, mm -hmm. and then he's got he's against three CC, and he's like even on workers. This this kind of feels really, really, really bad. Oh, it feels but terrible. He can make him pay the Phoenix tax. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. got no like his starboard just got back. Oh, he's only got three Phoenixes. Okay, so he can make him pay a small amount of tax. <laughs> oh, getting that widow mine. Oh, nice. that's a good start. Uh, the other oh. thing that's unfortunate is, of course, he did use a fair amount of the Phoenix energy, lifting those Hellions. So they they're not they're not swimming in it now. It's you know? okay because you know, Ronnie, big fan of government. He's uh he's making him pay <laughs> his taxes. He's a fan of big government, Rotterdam. He loves was, it when you go into his chat and you tell him that too. I was just, gonna say, I'm sure, I'm sure Rotterdam is the biggest fan of government. He's a huge big government fan. You should actually you should bring that up to him all the time. Uh, we do see a big, like, Roddy's just going for it. He is just going to go for a huge charge lot. I don't hate it. Yeah, yeah, two base I don't hate it. Lot. He's going to make him pay his taxes, and then he's going to collect. Just don't lose any phoenixes, and we'll be good. But, Foxer, I think he suspects something. He's already going for a wall. Yeah, and I, it looks like he might have he might have been able to get a little bit of tax evasion going mm. on here. I think, it's, uh, I think he's well set up. He got, a, he got a nice Italian accountant. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Sal's Italian. He can say that. I can say that. Uh, Stim and combat shields are done. This was a three racks follow-up, so there is a lot of stuff. The problem, of course, being, like, if Foxer doesn't identify this for real, he could get jumped with, like, half of his army defending against the Phoenixes and then just lose, you know? I just yeah. I don't think that's going to happen, but there is a possibility. I, I think, yeah, I think it's going to be trouble because Foxer's, he's not going anywhere, man. No, as long as he stays behind his wall, he's chilling. The, and, I, and seals the wall because like, that's yeah, that's what it's looking a little yeah. Maginot line right now. Yeah, this is uh, this is where you've got two holes in your boat and you've got one patch and you're moving it from one to the other one, you know, and you just keep sinking. That's what this <laughs> looks like. <laughs> this looks like our boat is going down, Dave. It, it oh my oh, okay. Well, that's kind of cute. Is there still no? There's no, okay now. There's no gap, but the depot's yeah, yeah. up. Down? I, I, I yeah. I'm I'm not a big fan of that. Roddy is taking a third nexus now, but he he stayed on two next eye for a while. Uh, this is this is really interesting actually because Fox is staying on two gases himself, and he's actually super. He he's like got so much gas in the bank. I guess he just hasn't built gas units since the like early medevac really. Against what uh what Roddy's doing, this is actually perfect, right? Because he's yeah. Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's just going mass bio units. Like, you don't, and then he's getting mines. He's not even investing in any tech, which is what you want to do against Gateway Man. Yeah, yeah and, and you don't want, like, like the medevacs are almost more of a liability in a situation like this. I think we might have seen an overlift right there. Yeah, he, he ends up losing one of the Phoenixes. Does get six SCVs, but even with that. Worthwhile trade or no? Six SCVs for one Phoenix, considering how many SCVs Fox is already on. I don't, I don't think that's really worth it, but. I mean, he was, he would have been up. You don't want to be behind in workers. No, you think definitely he gets caught not. here? How much does he, he sees him with the observer? The, there's not enough for Roddy to fight though. This though, is there? So, I mean, that's oh. a lot of charge lots. Scan did kill the observer. It all comes down to the widow mines, I think. I, think, I, I don't I think, think he has enough. He, only, he has twenty zealots. I think you don't think Foxer has enough or Roddy? Uh, Roddy. I don't think. Oh Roddy's yeah, yeah. No, I think Roddy <laughs> needs to get some it's friendly really, fire mines. It's really, really close. He's gonna go for the lifts here. Okay. Never mind. Protoss ah. is a really good race. He did, yeah, he did get all Look the... I was thinking he needed to actually drag the mines, but I guess taking care of all the mines also 
That also works. So the important thing I think here is that Foxer has like actually now confirmed what he's playing against. Like there's no Colossus yet. So now he can just he can confidently chill. Cause the, like before he might have felt pressure because he wasn't sure. The thing is Roddy is about to be Yeah, on he's just Colossus starting deck. it though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no no. Yeah. It's but but I feel like Foxer probably felt like considering the damage he got early, he should have been able to have a kill timing there. So that that's discouraging. You that this so? game is uh, maybe that it it depends on like how much he thinks he did. Yeah, you I know? think now he thinks he just goes up to like 180, 200 supply, and then goes back across. But he will have Colossus to contend with at that point. If this mind drop gets in when there's no, this many, there's Phoenix a pylon. On the... He sees it. Yeah, Roddy but where should come are the home. Phoenix? They are. There they're they coming go. Back. Look, good see, job. good job. He's yep. a good player. Oh, of course he's a good player. I see, I would have left oh. it. Oh, okay. We had ourselves a little little brain fart. That's okay. Yeah, so when you alt tab on that computer, because I, of the way the like but from earlier. So whenever oh. you alt tab, then there's one leg spike coming at any random time. Jesus. And it could hit at any moment. Oh. Foxer's got uh, a couple of SCVs, not not where you want. It's oh. okay. He has there a couple go. extra SCVs in general, so I think it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you get... Oh, man. He's he can afford to have there. some guys that are just not working that hard. It's okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fox are also a fan of big government. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Stream keeps freezing? It does it? Oh, yo, yo. Because we haven't dropped any frames. Yeah. It's just okay. you, buddy. It's just you. Okay, good. Look at that. Sorted it out. Oh, Perfect. Yeah, right. Wonderful. God, even though I know Roddy's a Phoenix enjoyer, I'm still always blown away by the number of Phoenixes he makes. You know? Ruptorino is going to be pretty important in this fight. Nice pre-spread. That is a beautiful pre-spread from Foxer. Oh, but that... I, oh. Nice. That's okay. That's big one. That's one disco. He's going in. He's going for it. Are we going to friendly fire the mines too? No. That was a very good little skirmish for Roddy. Or pardon yeah. me, no, sorry, for uh, for Foxer. I Getting mean, a lot of those zealots. I feel like if he can't break him here, he's he's going to have a pretty long game ahead of him. Oh, why can I not? I can't open the battle report. Oh, because shift is, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll get you a different keyboard. That's what we'll do. No, 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 it's fine. I, I can adjust. Okay. We yeah, adjust on the fly. Yeah. Obviously, the the first uh, disruptor shot was huge, you know. That was a, that was a big one. But I mean, after that, it was a, it was a nice little skirmish. Uh, Roddy though has a lot of things going for him. One one about to complete, plus two ship weapons, getting that Phoenix upgrade. He's uh he's cooking. Hey, he's definitely cooking. I just he's just down so far in economy. I I wonder if um. Uh, like, eventually, it favors him because of the supply. It lets him have more carriers and more units in general. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I just wonder if Fox is going to hit a nice, strong time. He's he's, cute. he's got a lot of upgrades coming on that are really good. He's got plus two ship weapons coming in. I don't, just don't know. I mean, this is where Radu says really, really good for Protoss, like on this yeah. four-base setup, right? Yeah, and, and especially with the composition. That... He's got a fifth. He's got a fifth already, dude. Oh, yeah. And he's mule, he's muled it quite strongly. He's muling it hard. Three more starports coming in and three stargates at the same time. So we're gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned sky war. Oh Yeehaw. Oh, oh no 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 no! It's gone. Twenty two kills. Where an army used to be. Oh God. Oh my goodness. I, I had nothing to say. What was he? I, I just watched. What was he looking at? I just died inside. Foxer died in the game. He he just died. Four ghosts, seventeen marines, one marauder. Oh my god! To one time saying died in a video game is unironic. Oh man, what was he? What was he looking at there? I don't know. It's something else, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, he wasn't looking. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't looking at his army, and it's probably for the best that he wasn't. Oh my god. Imagine looking at that like three seconds before it blows everything up. Mm. And just, that, yeah, you just and have to watch happens. it happen. Yeah. That's it.
Uh, Foxer, because of the economy, is actually still very much yeah, a playable Yeah, he's, he's like, well, this is, this is a flesh wound. It's okay. It, unironically, yeah. Yeah, it's He's fine. on 92 SCVs. Uh, we are going to see big EMPs, but after the lifts. I don't know. It just feels like Roddy's he's going to hit his timing, you know? His timing his of just four being... Colossus, three Disruptor, Carrier, Phoenix Army. <laughs> and he... Okay. We didn't need those Zealots. They were making room for supply. They certainly have done that. Uh, yep. I, huh. This is weird because if Foxer can get enough Vikings out, he will be good. But he's only but making, he's, he's making four at a time. It's not enough. Exactly. But he's got six starports, but he actually can't afford to use them all because he's still rebuilding bio. And he also doesn't have... Oh, he just killed something of his he own. He has 92 SCVs. He does not have medivacs either. He's got one... Oh my god, he just started four more medivacs. Yeah, he only has one. Okay. This is a very messy game, but the resources lost is just... It is just Protoss. This is, this is efficiency for Protoss right here. Yes. This is the Protoss of yore. Of yesteryear. This is, uh, I think this is getting kind of scary for Roddy, though. Like, he can try and farm some more disruptor shots, but he is I think he's out of interceptors now. He is about to be on 2-2, two -two, which is going to make his Colossus a fair bit better, and Zealots as well. Oh my god, he's... <laughs> he is... He's setting up base camp on... <laughs> on he, he saw that Euthermal was on the dock, and he was like, all right, let's see if we can... We can, we can set this up right, you know? We can, uh... Try and show he's gonna try and show up the showman. Oh Ruptors are proving to be quite the bane of Foxer's existence. Oh man. Not a ton of interceptors right now. But a ton of Phoenixes. This this looks like it's it's problem time though. I don't know if he's yeah. gonna be able to No, he can't he can't stabilize. Yeah, even without the interceptors. I was going to say, you don't even need interceptors right now. There's no. six Colossus. The Phoenixes are still able to deal with the Vikings that are being produced right now. This this looks like it is done and dusted for game one. I mean, this missile turret is putting in work, though. Look at him. Okay, no, <laughs> never mind. He's trying. Ooh-wee, he's trying. Thing is, like, <laughs> Foxer is, like, he's, he's, just, he's just the head of an empire right now, but then they, they killed the head. Like, the Empire's still there, it's just the boss is dead. He's got so much money, he doesn't know what to do with it. He's mm. got so much income, but there yep. is just no way to uh, get any units. Yeah, the, and that situation you were talking about, it, it really has worked out well for Roddy, where he just has an insanely high army supply. Yeah. But th this is a game that I think Foxer would want back real bad. Yeah, I, I think I agree with you. He, he could have he could have stayed at like oh. A8. Oh, surround? No, I don't think so. Right? Colossi are just too good against Marines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. I think we're about to see uh, cheeky GG here. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There we go. That was that was a game of Starcraft. That was that was good. I liked the part where he put the shield batteries. Outside the fourth. I thought that was good. <clears throat> Why bother with a nickname online when he has the most badass name in all of history? I because I was an I was an edgy teenager, bro. Like that's it. That's the you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. You really do just live with decisions you made like fourteen years ago. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so that was on EU. Okay. Uh, I gotta say, I, I hope that Foxer can look oh. at his army. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, we no. I, I think we have to do the eye contact. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. now that you can see me, I know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't realize it until you were just looking. I just look over, and Dave's like. Hello. <laughs> there. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, we'll do that next time. Yeah, sounds good. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that will be... But the backgrounds are so different. They're very <laughs> they, different. They are, actually. We're, we're going to do... Next time I'm going to do it where we're both across the table from each other. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what the end game setup is because uh, this room is 
not super space optimized, I don't think, for this. But uh, mm. also, the lighting is different. I didn't have time to move. I was supposed to move one light over here and light me differently. But mm. I ran out of time. It's all good. Wait, all is good. it actually? Yeah, I, don't I can switch them. Hold on. We'll do that. I'll do that while we wait. Oh, God, that's so bright. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I like it. Because uh, now when I look that way, I like it. And then when he looks, that is that is initially what I wanted to do. Mm. Again, we're just kind of. Is yeah. there no Liquipedia for the second one? There Question should be. Mark? Why does the first one not link to the second? I made a bracket command for this. So there certainly should be. Yeah, there is a Nurse of Brawl too. Why does the first one not link to the second? Interesting. It's fine. It's a fine. Uh, okay. Well. Oh, it's going to do the thing eventually. Uh, they did, they realize they're, they're like switching to NA now, right? I don't know. Right? You have NA. the screen. I mean, I could technically, I, I wish I could just, is there a way for me to. Yeah, there really isn't. That sucks. I'd have to change the way that multi-view works. Actually, I feel like I could window prevent projector full screen. Hmm. I think I can do it. Rotterdam is a small man. He's actually not. He's a tall guy. He's quite tall, yeah. He's quite tall. You wouldn't say that to him at LAN. Oh, apparently it was. it's all EU. Okay. Okay. I thought... Good for Rotterdam. Bad yeah. Bad for Foxer. Yeah. For real, for real. Who do you think it's better for Protoss? It's got it's better for Protoss. Okay. I mean, I I think it's especially Sky Toss. I mean, I think it? it's I think it's just good for like all the races suffer a lot when you can't when you have ping. You okay, know? yeah, but like if you if you had the same exactly the same caliber of player, and you had to like, which one suffers more on the bad ping? Like which race suffers between Protoss and Terran? Do you think suffers? I think they suffer in different ways, actually. Also, I'm gonna run some ads. Mm -hmm. What are, What are your uh, ad? Let's okay. do two two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Bam. <clears throat> get Get fucked, Porce. <laughs> I mean, we're in between games. It's not gonna end up in a vod, right? That should be the opening. Surely. Surely. Surely, it won't. Surely. Now we'll have to make sure to split up the VOD itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just, it's just, there's a, it just disappears in time between yeah. before and after that. Yeah. Oi, oi, oi. Indeed. Apparently, Fox are caved. Ah. That's, he caved? Yeah, I, I don't, I, why? Why would you do that? Don't cave. Well, I don't understand. Don't let him bully you like that. Yeah. I, I legitimately don't understand why you would accept that. Because that's crazy. That's just Brody's just too powerful. I guess so. He's, He's got the too caster, powerful. caster too money, strong. the caster cabal. Yeah. All right, we're going for game two. Heck Part of the old boys club there. Okay. Yeah. Roddy has a lot of power in the scene. Poor Foxer. Mm. Mm -hmm. So true. Off we go. <clears throat> I love the loading screen. I love making you guys look at the loading, loading screen. I hate and I like that. <laughs> that in the top right, we have the Protoss Phoenix Building Phenom. Rotterdam. Oh, wait. And his opponent spawning down on the bottom left for Berserker Esports. From America, it is Foxer. Why did it... That one. That one. There we go. Sheesh. I'll fix it for next time, man. That's okay. I just need to get used to it. Just need to do the practice. Get the reps in. Uh yeah, that's that that's a rough game that Foxer loses there. You gotta you gotta just be like, okay, it was Rad who said. But also, you get 14 probes and you don't win. It's not a good mm. feeling. Not a good feeling. Especially considering the fact that Roddy stayed on two bases for so long and it was three three CC. For Fox or behind it, I think the map makes it hard. Like it, it does, but it's still a bad feeling. You just it, it's no one wants to go into the 
no one wants to go into game two with that, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it feels bad, man. But if you can be like, okay, it's just Radu set. But then it's like, well, why, did, why didn't you veto it? <laughs> yeah, you know? Well, because he, he thought the Hellion drop would do it. But it did. It did. 14 probes is a lot of probes. It, it is a lot of probes. Like, it, it definitely... Man makes a point. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those things where it's like, all right, we did it. Now what? Yeah. And then it's like, well, now we lose anyways. And it's like, ah. <laughs> I see a, I see a flaw in your game plan. Oof, oof, oof. It is a good point. The the massive disruptor shot really took the wind out of oh, Roddy's, yeah, or right. out of uh, Foxer sails. Oh, but like, groan. Oh god, that was a rough one to watch. Cause like it you, was. you know he was like, all right, I'm just gonna shore up my stuff at home. You know, put everything I, I in just, a nice. I just yeah. legitimately don't know what he could have been looking at, like, at that moment. I mean, he was just building a depot or two. We oh. all do it, man. It happens. It, Terran oh, I, is a mean? hard race. I've, I've never You're gotten hit by Sim a disruptor City. shot. Not You're once. playing SimCity and StarCraft at the same time, okay? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough to do. And you can't do uh, Rosebud to get more... Oh, no, 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 that's The Sims. Oh yeah. What are the what are the cheats in SimCity? I don't remember. Mm. Shield battery gonna be done in time. The uh the hidden scouting probe did get found and killed off. Oh Roddy. Oh nice He's gonna lose from the Boxer. second one here, yeah. yeah. That's real nice. Actually the second Oh, oh no, goodness. third, because Stalker is he's going out. St yeah, Stalker's going on a mission. He's going out on the town. Uh this is really interesting because the cyclone will be out in time to deal with this. Eventually. Cyclone opener, is he gonna do drop or is he gonna do uh three one? I don't. I'm uh, very curious as to what his. Because uh, you. I mean, the Cyclone is not. He could have been building this reactively because of the second Stalker here. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, pull SCVs to repair this. 100%, yeah. Yeah, and this is. Even these two Marines isn't going to be enough with the second oh, not, Stalker. Not yeah. close, yeah. How's the Reaper doing? What's it at? Uh, no, it is coming back home. Three kills? Yeah, yeah, it's what it already had. Yeah, okay. And what did uh, what did Roddy get there? Two? Oh. Oh. That it, was a little. Did we all tab? That was from well before, yes. Yeah, 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 I told you. Yeah, it's RNG, dude. Yeah. Uh, can can I can I put it on windowed full screen? Will that or will that just? I am scared of what that does. Okay, so so we have some experimenting so to do to figure out what the optimal setup is. Uh, Roddy switching it up, going Twilight. You know, he he does not always go Phoenix, despite despite popular belief. Right. Yeah, it's something he he does often, very often, but. Not always. Not he every is, time. Yeah. I, I think... And I, I think that really speaks to... What you need to do as Protoss. Because even the most ardent Phoenix enjoyer of all time, in the form of one Rotterdam 08, still plays Twilight. Yeah, but he yeah he, he likes to throw you off. Because he... Yeah. You're kind of like also dealing with the expectation. So I remember this one game I played against him. And I was like super, I was super ready to like make cyclones. Oh my god, this probe. And cross the map. And then he built he built oh. stalkers and I was so livid. This man has played me a bunch of times every time he builds phoenixes. The phoenix mm. guy. And then there's just stalkers. And I was like, this is illegal. Yep. It is. It is as I was irrationally as upset. Okay. We have, uh, oh, double, we have a double mind drop. Yeah, 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 yeah mind we drop. have a bad timing for Roddy is what we have. I mean, he's got he's a good pull. Yeah, yeah, but he he was he literally just moved out with the stalkers mm. just as the drop came in. And Blink just finished as he's getting his way out too. So yeah, kind of. He only loses one stalker though. Yeah, it's not so bad, but he does still have to pull the whole probe line. I think the uh, the worst part about it is that the you get away with one mine. Yes. Which means that now yeah, you, you, you kind gotta, of yeah. you have to sit there at least with four stalkers, two and two. Uh, Roddy does love two gas charge lot. After after just about anything, whether it be Phoenix openers, he will eventually usually go into Colossus, but he is a gateway man first and foremost, and he loves the double forge with that from time to time as well, and that's that's what we're going to be seeing here. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot more double forge recently. It's good. It's yeah, really it's strong. Really strong if you can get up to it. The problem, of course, is surviving. Is getting away with it. Is yeah. this five racks or were you looking at a? Th this is just three racks. Three CC. I think. Uh, oh, where's the CC? Well, he hasn't he hasn't built it yet, but you 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 know that you know you have the option of 
building the third CC, committing super hard on the three racks. You don't necessarily need to go five racks to make it a, a heavily dedicated all-in. I mean, I do. I know you do. I yeah. know you're a big fan of the five racks. I love the but... five racks. Oh, That's auto turret. I'm an enjoyer. Yeah, I, I do know that you, you can just push out with, uh, you know, one one or plus one and then stim combat. And third CC in the front. Every time I do this versus Protoss, I always regret it. Like this. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> I... Didn't even get to interject because yeah, you. <laughs> it doesn't take long, and and it's not even closer to the third CC yeah, it's, location. It's just like, worse. It's it, like objectively, yeah. yeah. It's just one of those moments. Like I understand exactly what happens. You just you're like, oh, I need a third, and you just look to a base, and you're like, build it. All right. Foxer needs to be going. What is what is he? He's afraid of the stalkers, man. I, I mean, <laughs> nice, good blink. Didn't didn't quite get the old guy. SCB. <laughs> he's actually he's got clean stalker micro. This yeah. is gonna buy time for the one one. You know That's why huge. that is? Because he's been microing stalkers for a very long time. <laughs> Back when the earth was cooling. Yeah. Roddy was complaining about hit scan range and finally got the change and now he's he's a changed man. Uh he did kind of Foxer kind of just snuck past everything. Roddy missed this. He doesn't know it's coming. He does not. Wait, where's where are his units? They, I, they, okay, they do find it. There's now. not even that many units. Uh, one one though. Are we gonna? Big. Are we gonna hit the sentry? Gotta get the sentry, man. Get it, get it, get it. I think if he just kills the sentry, you can just kill I, everything. Yeah, I think there's no shield battery at this third. I, I feel like he can keep going, but oh, that was a really like Ooh, early. Maybe stim. not with the flanking stalkers. It's kind of splitting the targets too much. I feel like this has still gone very well for oh, yeah, Boxer he, I, so far. I think far. If Roddy can very much lose right now. Oh. Doesn't have a fourth either. Widowmine did manage to get one kill. Yeah, but... and this is the this is the downside of that earlier drop. Like it just pays off way later. Yeah, this is this yeah. is a very good position for Foxer for sure. But it's definitely not over. It looks like the Raven died. I want I hope he didn't F2 it. Did he this. ever use a single spell? Uh, yeah, well, he used auto turrets in the back for harass. Uh, okay. This is this is gonna get weird, but this favors this should favor Foxer a this lot. This favors favors Foxer 100, percent right? He's gonna and take he... out a Nexus and go go the go Robo? into the main, go into the main, go 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 go. Do not hesitate. Oh my God, he's losing the third CC. This is not a good start for Foxer. I think it's still okay. I think it's still good. Well, these but it should be are amazing on another. They're on another pla path. That, that's what I'm. Roddy's just being way more decisive. We need to see the Liberator siege yeah. up on the ramp. We got to see the the Nexus being targeted down. He does kill the Cybercore. That's good. And he denies okay, we the got plus, plus two. two. So it is. Oh, but another CC dies, and the Liberators don't siege on the ramp. They, I I don't know about I'm this. I'm kind of okay with that because it's going to be still hard to click them. Like I feel like there's enough stalkers there that, that he could just jump over. This uh, the lack of decisiveness from Foxer really hurt him in this because now he's going to save the Nexus. This is a disaster for Foxer. This has gone yeah. as as bad as it could have, considering the setup. It, this he lost two command centers. He didn't kill the main Nexus. He didn't kill the army in the main when it was like split up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this game. And might... I think Roddy's also got the fourth coming down as well. Yeah, he does. Yeah, the only thing. Oh, this is well. I don't run. know if I like this. Run, for Roddy. Run. Uh. Oh, actually, nah. Run. Yeah, no, I, I think I like this for Foxer a lot more. It was a weird situation where they flanked each other. Midway but... through that fight, I changed who I wanted to run. <laughs> the thing is, Foxer. Uh, the the one thing he did do a lot of is he killed a crap ton of probes. So they're both on a bad economy. But Roddy has a lot more. He has three bases. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And oh, Foxer oh, needs to land. Oh, I love the long distance mining. Let's go. But he needs to land the the natural command center. Is this all? No, there's more, right? This is just a small section. Where's the rest of it? It's like on the map, and a Ooh. Widowmine sees it. Foxer needs to go. He cannot hesitate. He needs to be like really getting in the business. Oh, he does snipe the sentry. That's good. Oh, uh, it's unfortunate for Roddy that he came around on the side. A little bit, yeah. Killing that Liberator would have been really nice. The thing is, Foxer needs time for the Medivac to get energy. I think he's, he's just being energy. outscaled, man. Like, he just doesn't have enough money in the back. Yeah. And, and there's no HP on the units. 
he needs to lift up and get out, but then Roddy just blinks on him. Like that. Yep. Yep. Instant. Yeah. And Roddy and is TV. a much more decisive player. Like, I think yeah. I think Foxer's been in winnable... Actually, I would even go further. He's been in almost one positions. Both games. Both yeah. games. And then he just... It, Roddy just pulls the trigger anyway. Yeah, and, and the the base trade. So in game number one, yeah, I think that disruptor shot was like the critical moment. Yeah. In game two, it was the whole base trade. Everything, every decision made was prioritized better by Roddy. Like he yeah. really crushed it on that one. He should have immediately gone to try and turn off the pylons, powering all the gates. Turn off the pylons. Get the nexus. Split like go directly into the main base. Uh he needed to pull his third base back. He needed to pull his natural back. Siege the liberators on the ramp. Like it's I, I don't want to it's it feels like I'm being blamey against Foxer and I don't want it to come out that way because base trades are hard. Yeah, and also this is obviously a competitive match where there's there's a lot of pride on the line for these guys for sure, uh, and you do know Rotterdam is that super experienced guy. By the way, great little zealot run by to put the final nail in the coffin. It was it was over, but that's like, it's like um it's that scene from the Patriot, and he's like, but but my lord, we've taken the field, and now it's time to take their spirits. <laughs> that's what Roddy just did with that zealot run by. He actually just. He actually Kick. just soul ripped him. Oh, poor Foxer. Yeah, that was Foxer feeling defeated. Down 2-0. I, I, maybe this... like, maybe I'll cook him with a three racks. I'd like that. He's he's got to do something because it feels like the the amount of momentum he needs to he needs to re, yeah he needs to get a, a moral victory not just yeah. a victory but a moral double and and he not he not not only needs to get a moral victory he needs to deliver a crushing moral defeat okay to to turn the series around got like it. we're trying again off we go I can't wait for the chatter to be right so well, I mean it's, it's Mixu he's <laughs> He's bitter. It's weird to call him a chatter. I you know? always call him chatters. Yeah, but They're just chatters. This is an artosis stream. We, you know, people. <laughs> what do have, you mean? People who have uh, like uh, experience, we give them the, the we give them the nod. All right. Let's see. No. Nope. Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna. Man. Uh, th I hate. <sighs> okay. Well, here we go. Spawning up at the top left for Basilisk. It is Roddy. Up 2 0. <laughs> Playing from the jungle. We have <laughs> Berserker Esports, Foxer. That sucks. I, he does have a, a badass console, though. Yeah, but I mean, if you're. It just a feels bad, though. You know? It like... super sucks. Yeah, it's I, I should have just I should have just had them restart the thing right away. Thanks, Bruno, by the way, for the gifted sub to Mixu. The chatter. The chatter. Guy in the chat. Guy in the chat. The, the thing is, we weren't in a party, though, so it shouldn't have it shouldn't have been a problem. It could be a host. Oh, uh, uh, Rocker, the issue is that uh he has the console, the Warcraft 3 console, so it's huge. Yeah. And it's like... Even if you're playing the same, like, the... The, the font is also different. It's just not... It's just... It's, yeah, yeah it's, it, you're, pl you're playing, like... Like, imagine you're a drummer, and someone get, hands you a drumstick that's two inches longer than what you're used to. Like, that's going to mess you up, you know? Mm. It's pretty similar. I, get, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, what do we got? We got Reaper FV. And this is just a standard gate... Gate Cyber. Yeah, yeah. Gate Core Nexus. Gate, yeah. Two-minute two, two minute mark is uh, when the Gate Cyber finishes. So the Cybernetics Core finishes. Yeah. 210 is... uh Or sorry, 220 is when you would have the first unit out if they Chrono Boost. 230 if they don't. But against Terran, you're almost always Chrono Boosting because the Reaper exists the reaper will do many damage many damage and you can also get aggressive now one thing that's really cool Ooh. max Bax always manages to sneak out like two extra seconds on his build always he's like i know 220 is when you're supposed to finish things i finished them at two 218 
Oh my god, this every time. Alt tab. Ah. Hey, I told you, buddy. You just ah. gotta brace yourself. Ah. Ah, ah. I'm not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sounds just like a car. Yeah, he's, he's revving, revving up. up. Yeah. yeah. Nice micro there from Roddy. He wasn't gonna lose the probe anyways, I don't think. But good, good uh, job to make sure. Uh, he does get the scout. Rotterdam does something that most Protoss don't do, but he will open up like stalkers and even multiple stalkers in order to mask that he's going Stargate. And I think that's worth so much. I really think that is one of the most underrated weapons for Protoss. But I think a lot of Protoss players are like, well, Terrans are going to get the scout with the Reaper anyway, so I don't, I don't really care. But I'm like, yeah, but you should though. You should yeah. always, you should always be playing for, for the best. And okay. have plans for the worst, you know? He's do Is he doing a Cyclone push, or is he just building Cyclones? This might be the Kelezer build, which is cy like double Cyclone production into the 3-1. The three, three oh, interesting. It's really strong. That is what it looks like it's going to be, just from where the SUV is positioned. Yeah. And barracks. So does... Do you think Roddy knows how to deal with this? I mean, he's probably seen it for sure. I mean, a very quick Twilight and Fast Charge, which is almost definitely what it's going to be, is about the best case scenario you can get. Okay. Um, but it doesn't I have not mean it's... seen this build order. I, so this is against. This is just against Phoenix, like openers. Oh, it's so good against Stargate. Yeah, so good against. And Stargate. Basically, every Cyclone opener is pretty good against Stargate. <laughs> That's very true. Honestly, yeah. Uh, you gotta babysit those Phoenixes so hard because, you know, one Phoenix gets locked onto by four, by four Cyclones, and it's it's zero Phoenix. It's, yeah. It's minus one Phoenix. You know, like it. You're not. That Phoenix is not surviving. Got it. In almost any scenario. Basically, you need to turn around as the lock on's hitting. Uh, now, this is not going to be the build that Kelezer sometimes does, where you stick on this. Double su a shield battery. Look how seriously he's taking this. Oh, he is he going to beat? Yeah. <sighs> yep. He beat the green battery. Now Attack that, of the clones. I, that is, uh, in lore, that's impossible. <laughs> is that is that making it's, you it's, making you feel things? Yeah, it's not possible. Making you feel the tinglies. Uh Roddy did pick off some SCVs during all this. Four SCVs in total going down, so that's obviously pretty nice with the Phoenixes. And even though he killed that one adept and he forced the battery overcharge, that was that's superficial damage. Like it's not that big of a deal. So this is still totally fine for Rotterdam. And I would say I think I even like his position. We can get a repair on the Cyclones, Foxer? Come that on. would be, that would be Let's real go. nice. Oh, there, there it go. is. Beautiful. So he's going to just re-up on this push, right? Because you basically don't want to play Phoenix uh, in the mid to late game at all. It's really frustrating to play against later on. It's like, this is why you basically build Cyclones and push. Oh, can we repair? Last one. Please, 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 please. I'm just curious as to what he follows up with. Oh, he's got the mind bait? Oh, oh that, he, he I, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the mind trap. He's that's what I was talking about. It. No, he, he saw it for sure. Yeah. That was a bit of a bait right there with this mind to be like, hey, you can you can grab this. The Marines would have snapped off that one Phoenix if uh, Roddy had tried. So mm. good maturity there. Shown by shown by the Dutchman. We got uh we got two Dutch versus two American players tonight, by the way, which is kind of cool. I'm curious as to whether or not, because this push is coming in. Mm -hmm. Roddy does not look like he's got enough to hold this, given what he's got right now. Doesn't feel like it. No. I. Uh, but is Fox going to actually hit the timing? Because uh, I feel like this is the he, same thing in game two as well. He wants to be attacking like right now, like. Uh, he's he's meandering. Okay. And no. Oh man, he's got so much man, so many man with gun, so many mines. This is the this perfect is, timing. It is the perfect timing. It's, it's before the way. armor. It's before Phoenix upgrade, like, yes, charge is Wait, done, did, but... Did you say he's getting the Phoenix? Oh. Yeah, yeah, plus one attack. Plus Sorry. one attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, like... Damn, he goes all in. Yeah, he goes hard. He goes hard. Are you are you thinking of ways that you're like, oh, damn, like, I can I can beat this? No, I'm thinking of, damn, he goes hard. Oh, true. We are going to see the jump. Grabbing the mines very early is Ooh. so big. Nice mine drag, but that's also a huge mine on the Phoenix. Yeah, and I think he also got on the Zealots with that as well. A little bit, yeah. but the rest of the mines did not do almost anything. Foxer was not set up for that attack. Roddy ambushed at the top of that ramp, and Foxer 
honestly, considering what this timing was capable of, that's a huge win for Rotterdam. I feel like the fact that there aren't Colossus like coming out soon is it's gonna allow Fox to just continue pushing like pushing the issue here. Yeah. Like there's no end date for this. Like these units are not going to be oh, better. Baiting out those mines though was huge, and now Roddy pulls the trigger, gets the last mine. Foxer, just, I'm just wrong. Yeah, no, well, he, he needed the mines. That's the thing. However, hang I, on. No, I think he's. I think he's in still that in was, a good position. Like, yeah, fighting around the corner is always so good for Terran against melee units. It's very surprising. Like, no Colossus is like we can kind of just keep going. Oh, but we gotta get like into a good position here. Roddy still has the reinforcements close at hand. Foxer, does he have enough? No, he does not. He is gonna get overrun. Phoenix is with uh, plus one attack, dude. Yeah. Apparently. And, and that armor, like, it was... Uh, yeah, that that was um, that was one of those situations where you need to be correctly positioned as the Terran, like, all the time. Yeah, you kind of just need to know the army's going to be there. Yeah. Like, because he needed to be... He needed to have those mines burrowed. Roddy's played a hell of a series. He's going to 3-0 this. This is over. Like, completely over for yeah, sure. Yeah, this is a 40 supply deficit. And it's almost all army supply. Yeah, the supply, the SCV supplies are, or Damn. the worker supplies, pretty similar. Roddy, Roddy came in with a vengeance tonight. After he, a cheeky glass of wine, yeah, sitting right? on the couch. That's cheeky. that's what you need to play Protoss. Oh a little God. bit of inebriation. It just you just gotta play. Yeah, you, you just know, gotta relax. Loose. You know exactly. He was just relaxed. Oh, Foxers. <laughs> This is this is some turbo cope right now, unfortunately. Yeah, the widow mines really needed to do a lot yeah, more than they did. I mean, did. he had four that just didn't go off the top. Uh, he almost yeah. had it, even like even despite that. Yeah, despite yeah. that, Rotterdam just understands the game so bloody well, and like all the little minutia about like like what you need to do in fights, he does it all. Even if he can't do everything. He does what he should be doing first, mm. and he does it better. You know? Yeah. And Foxer will have uh, an opportunity to win some extra cash. Yes. As Bruno points out in the FFA. Yeah. Dolan walked away with a pretty hefty purse because of that last time. He, he did, yeah. He did. Despite, uh, despite going down in a truly fantastic series to TLO, that was an amazing one. Yeah, it was good. All right, next time we don't we don't let Roddy get pings ping advantage the whole time. Ain't no way. Ain't no I, way, I, dude. I'm personally vetoing that one. Yeah. Yeah, we need we need competitive series here. Uh, Foxer, there we go. G Will GG. Obviously, he was <sighs> dead. Basically, basically once his army got completely cleaned up around the fourth, that was pretty much GG. Damn. Roddy. Coming in with I guess all we the can, destructive force. Should we keep that? Uh, 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 Overlay? Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, now we uh, go Nina uh, U-Thermal. Uh, 